The plight of civilians caught in the line of fire in eastern Ukraine has been thrown into stark relief with the accusation that pro-Russian separatists attacked a convoy of refugees on Monday, killing dozens. So far, many details of the incident are unclear, and the separatists have denied it. The UN says more than 2,000 soldiers, rebels, and civilians have died since the fighting started in mid-April. Hundreds of thousands have fled their homes. The Wall Street Journal visited two refugee camps in Ukraine and one just over the border in Russia. The refugees told stories of surviving in basements with no water or electricity, while artillery shells exploded nearby, killing civilians. While disapproval of the pro-Russian rebels ran deep, the refugees also often criticized the Ukrainian government for apparently shelling residential areas. In many cases, we were told, it simply wasn't clear who was doing the shooting. The growing suffering presents a long-term obstacle for the new pro-Western government in Kiev that came to power in February. Even if Kiev manages to rout the separatists, it will still face the daunting challenge of winning hearts and minds in the East. For The Wall Street Journal, this is Anton Troyanovsky in Zhytomyr, Ukraine.